Kilo Echo 4, Sierra Golf Hotel, Bob in Hampton, Virginia. Was that the Sierra Fox Hotel? Sierra Golf Hotel. Sierra Golf uh, Hotel, Roger. Sierra Golf Hotel, Roger. Check out. It's uh, Ye Yezu FT 890 AT. FT 890, correct? FT 890, correct. All right, what's the name there, sir? Bob. <laughs> Bob, you're a man of few words and very quickly spoken. Uh, I'm trying to get a handle on your audio, sir. I can't do it with one word. Uh, you know, I need uh, a little bit more. So give me about 10 or 15 seconds uh, on your antenna system, Roger. All right, I'm just trying to set up a new antenna system out here. It's uh, Hustler Vertical 5 DVG, I do believe. I'm trying to get the 80 meter into a range for one of the local nets, and I'm having a hard time doing it. I have to cut off piece by piece. All right, Bob, uh, I got you there. Uh, we could uh, improve your signal pretty drastically if you might be interested in some fattening. I'm all ears. Over. All right, uh, as always, it begins with your compressor, setting your compressor at a 3. Engage your compressor on at a 3. Roger. Are you familiar with the FT90? I don't know where the compressor is. Well, Bob, uh, <laughs> I'm not. Uh, so uh, take notes. Uh, I would suggest you take notes. Uh, the setup is uh, your compressor on at a three. Roger. Roger. Uh, I'll go ahead and get into the manual and see if I can find out where the compressor is and set it at a three. And uh, now just take notes, okay? Listen, I'm just uh, playing with the new antenna. I just put it back up here a few days ago. Roger, Bob. I don't care about your antenna, sir. I'm trying to help you set up your radio. So just take take notes, okay? Don't don't go looking for nothing. Just just take the notes, and you can apply the information as you find things at your leisure. Roger. Roger that. I've uh, got this radio about 20 years ago, and I just got my signal and my extra license this year. So I'm trying to get everything back up and running pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm still learning how to actually get the clean signals on the radio. So I'm having a lot of fun and a lot of uh, problems. Roger. Okay, listen to my voice carefully and write down the notes that I give you. I want you to, when you become familiar with the radio and find your compressor, I want you to turn it on and adjust its level input to a 3. If it's a... If it's a 0 to 10, I want you to put it on 3. If it's a 0 to 100, I want you to put it on 30. If it's just a rotary control, I want you to put it on the 10 o'clock position. I only want you to activate a third of your compression capabilities. Roger? Roger that. I've been, I've been listening to your last uh, two uh, lessons here, so I understand compressors at 3 and then adjust the ALC to about half to two-thirds. Exactly, exactly. And in that order, okay? Uh, and uh, th that will give you, should give you, about a 3 dB dynamic range. Uh, right now, your uh, audio signal is about 8 dB dynamic range, so this will probably double your, your potential uh, loudness. Uh, it will seem, appear that you're twice as loud as, as you were when you first started. Roger? that. I appreciate the little help there. I'm, as I said, I'm learning, I'm learning, and I'm, uh, I know I've got a lot of people out there who've got a lot more experience than I do, and I keep my ears on and keep my mouth shut most of the time just trying to pick up things until I get to know things a little bit better. Uh, Roger, Roger. Uh, and th also, after you get those uh, compressor in there and you get your ALC meter adjusted uh, by way of your mic gain control to run mid-scale to two-thirds, I want you to go to your EQ uh, your transmit EQ and uh, adjust that two clicks hotter on the top end boost than what it is. So I want you to boost uh, two dB hotter, uh, two clicks hotter than where you are at the moment on your top end EQ. Roger. Roger, two clicks hotter than uh, the top end of the EQ. Uh, that's a Roger. And uh, uh, Bob, what is your location, sir? I'm down here in Hampton, Virginia. 
Roger, tell me something about the uh, radio that you like best, and let me run my uh, SDRs and see if I can find one that uh, might be a little hotter than my local antenna. Okay, I'm a... a portable unit that I've got set up as a base station. I'm still trying to complete setting up my shack, so still working on that. Uh, I've got the uh, uh, nice little uh, vector, let's see, vector network analyzer that I've been playing with, too. Seems to be working quite nicely here. Over. Roger, and you're setting up uh, what kind of antenna is that? It's an old Hustler 5, I think it's DGV. It's, uh, it's set up a 4, 5, and a 6. Uh, eight, the 5 has the 80 meter on it, and I think the 6 has a 17 meter. Uh, roger that. And this is this a vertical radiator? Vertical radiator. Ground mounted. I've got uh, eight, radi eight radios running off it right now, planning on adding some more. Roger that, roger that. Well, uh, you know, a nice thing for you to have would be uh, an AV test with that, so you can always uh, check back and forth. I would put up a, a dipole antenna myself uh, that uh, I could reference uh, to the uh, to the vertical. Roger. Seventy uh, three on that. I wish I had the room to put up a dipole that would get me even the forty meters. Uh, uh, uh put up a dipole with 40 meters, I'd probably have greater than 120 degree angle on it for loosening it back over. Uh, you would have to go to a 120 degree angle to uh, get uh, 33 feet? Uh, 33 feet, I could probably do that. I've got an uh, inset uh, antenna up here also that uh, I have on an AB switch. Roger. Well, actually, it's 66 feet uh, for dipole, but I would prefer that dipole any day over your uh, your long wire, you know, for sure. Um, and also, you know, you can orient your uh, your leads, uh, your elements on the uh, on the dipole to specifically pinpoint areas that uh, you want to, to uh, radiate towards because usually antennas radiate broadband to the um, to the element to the wire broadband to the wire so in case I mean like you want to go north and south your antenna would go east and west and you would radiate north and south Roger so you can actually p pinpoint uh, your uh, area that you want to uh, maximize your signal strength in Roger I've only got about 50 foot back of the uh, beyond that one, like other, other than just 50 foot. So that makes it a kind of a limitation here trying to get anything to work. Roger. Well, challenge. <laughs> I found that uh, life is uh, like uh, mostly challenges, you know, and it's how you, you answer the challenges as to, uh, you know, what what the ultimate outcome is and uh, usually uh, you know if you're creative uh, you can rise up to your challenges Roger. Roger that, uh, yeah, as I said uh, I'm retired now so I've got plenty of time to play around and that's what I've been trying to do. Uh, the reason why I got into ham radio again is my wife had knee surgery and I need something to do while I was taking care of her so I just studied it and knocked out the general and uh, extra ticket. Roger, you are, you are an extra now? That's correct. I've uh, got the general in August and the extra in, uh, no, i got the extra in September, August, extra in August, and the general in July. Roger, Roger. Well, congratulations, sir. That uh, puts you in a, in a good position, and I'm glad that you have chosen to stay on the uh, regular frequencies uh, for 40 meters as opposed to those uh, clandestine extra frequencies that uh, us generals no longer hear you on, Roger. Roger, you're just a general. I haven't got the extra yet. No, uh, I uh, I find that just uh, you know where I am is just perfect for that. Uh, you know, uh, I'm pretty busy in other areas, and I just really don't have the time. And uh, this uh, you know affords me uh, just exactly where I, where I want to be to uh, be able to try and help uh, my uh, fellow uh, hams as much as uh, possible. You know. 
Tell me, please, for what you do. I don't want to just sit here and rag you, because there might, might be other people out there checking out the radio. So, tell me, please, for all your help. I'll see if I can find that information and get my radio tweaked in again. Maybe I'll see you again next Friday to see how well I did. Roger, Roger, and I'm uh, copying you, like I say, on my local antenna now, and again, if you want to hear what your radio sounds like at the moment, if you go to YouTube and do that call letter search for KC9 VKV, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and along with uh, today's date, 9-18-20, that will take you directly to this recording. Roger? Roger that. As I said, 73, 73. Thank you very much. Uh, Jim, on that end, I assume, right? I just pulled you up on your QRZ. Uh, yes, Bob, Roger, Jim, and Julie, and then Mike. Uh, three's that way, sir, and you have a great uh, afternoon, and if you get a chance, uh, do join us next uh, Friday. This is a KC9 VKV. Uh, gosh, we're turning towards uh, being coming a pumpkin there at 5 o'clock, so uh, uh, anybody uh, want to get a radio check in real quick? This is KC9 VKV listening.